My name is Mitchell Flott, and this is my hotspot video presentation on the Ukrainian conflict and Ionian revolt. So to start it off, I will be I will give a background for the two conflicts. First, starting with the Ionian revolt. It first started in 540 BC when the Persians took over the Ionian's land, and after that, the Persians let the native tyrants rule the area. The Ionians didn't like the policy, so they decided to take it into their own hands and do something about it. Around 498 BC, the Ionians captured the town of Sardis, which was under Persian control at the time, and burned it to the ground with help from the Athenians and the people from Eritrea. The Persians saw them do this, and as they left, followed them back after they were done and defeated them at their own town of Ephesus. In 497, the Persians responded with an attack on smaller areas outside of the rebellion. Later on, in 494 BC, Persia attacked the main source of the rebellion with their better navy and army. Once they had won, they knew that the revolt was now over. In 493, the Persians cleaned up any loose ends before finally creating a peace plan with the Ionians. For the background of the Ukrainian conflicts, it started in uh, 20, 2014 and began on early February 2014 when the pro-Russians caused unrest across the southern region of Ukraine in Crimea. The opinion of the public in participating areas such as Crimea, Donetsk Oblast, Luhansk Oblast, Odessa Oblast, Zaporizhia Oblast, Kharkiv Oblast, and Dnipropetrovsk Oblast was either to have a union or to not have a union. 41% of those participants were Crimean in favor of a union, 33% were from Donetsk Oblast, and 24% were from Luhansk Oblast, and another 24% were from Odessa Oblast in favor of a union. Crimea was one of the main areas that had the most problems. Vladimir Putin had soldiers come in to take over the peninsula back for Russia. Over 3,000 people fled Crimea in less than two months. There were many protests that took place throughout the various other regions that were involved. Government buildings were taken over in Donetsk Oblast, and many other buildings were damaged in the fighting. And even some were lost, and even some lives were lost in the process. The annexation of Crimea from Russia can be noticed as the main factor to why the events took place. The first similarity between the two sets of conflicts is independence. With the Ionians, their goal was to get Persia to leave them alone, and essentially gain independence from Persia. They were defeated in their attempts to gain their independence once the Persians took over Miletus, which was their central HQ for the revolt. Similarly, the pro-Russian of the Ukraine wanted independence from Ukraine. The pro-Russians decided to try and take their independence by force by sparking many battles and events across Ukraine such as the War of Donbass and the First Battle of Mariupol. The Ionians didn't receive their independence because the Persians defeated them in a battle at Miletus. This meant that the Persians still controlled over the land that the Ionians fought so hard to try and take back. This contrasts with what happened in Ukraine. When the Ukrainian president, Pedro Poroshenko, issued the 15-point peace plan this gave opportunity for when the Russians to see that some of their demands were filled. This was done to help bring peace back between the participating parties. Independence gives a country or a group of people the opportunity to finally be who they are. The Ionians wanted to get free from the Persians because they didn't agree with the Persians' beliefs or how they did things. The pro-Russians are the same way. They didn't agree with the Ukrainians at all. And they really wanted to try and make it to where the Ukraine Ukraine was essentially eradicated. Ukraine didn't agree with Russia, so that's why the pro-Russians took action. Peace was achieved by the Ionians and the Persians. 
Persons instilled a plan for peace that both sides thought were fair and just. Technically, the aliens didn't get to create their own peace plan, but the Persians accounted for that and made it somewhat fair and for both sides. Similarly, between the pro-Russians, the Russians, and the Ukrainians, they too created a peace plan that accounted for both sides. This was known as the 15-point peace plan. The 15-point peace plan made it possible for the pro-Russians to have some of their demands met while also instilling a disarmament, liberation of all hostages, and job-creating plans. Peace was needed to be achieved by the Ionians because they would have been completely wiped out without it. The Persians are much bigger and better than every way. The same goes for Ukraine. Ukraine needed to reach a peace agreement with Russia and the pro-Russians. Russia is a lot bigger and better than Ukraine and about everything. They're more militarily advanced and better trained. The tension caused by the Ionian Revolt was created by, that, by a certain event. There wasn't many past actions that created ten tension between the two parties, but with the Russians and Ukrainians, it's a whole different story. That event, there was no event that helped with the Iron Revolt, but with the tension between the Russians and the Ukraine, it can be traced back all the way to the Crimean War. The Crimean War took place in the middle to the middle 1850s, and it was the Ottomans, French, and British versus the Russians. The Russians did lose, and this created early tension that eventually moved to a bad relationship between the people around the area of Ukraine and the pro-Russians and Russians. In conclusion, the two conflicts both shared their similarities and differed in many ways. The feeling of independence between the Ionians and the Persians was forced, but just. The pro-Russians felt as if they needed to be violent to get their message out to all the Russians for their independence. Peace was eventually achieved in both conflicts, and the tension created in the Iron Revolt caused the beginning of a bad relationship, but the tension caused in the 2014 Ukrainian conflicts caused even more trouble in that area. Thank you for watching. It's been Mitchell Flott. Goodbye.